Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about this little Ninjago announcement that was kind of just uh, popped out out of nowhere. And uh, this kind of involves a pretty big thing for Ninjago that a lot of fans have kind of been asking for for quite some time. And that is a Ninjago prequel series. Now, of course, what we were expecting, I suppose, was kind of a prequel season of sorts in which we follow Wu and Garmadon kind of exploring and doing whatever they do. Um, but what what we're actually getting are a few chapter books based around Wu and Garmadon in their younger years, which is still a very good thing. I still feel like even though we aren't getting a prequel series in form of an animation, uh, just getting a prequel series in general following Wu and Garmadon, in my opinion, is a really good idea. And we can see that we have two books here coming out, and these are supposed to be debuting, I believe, in uh, fall 2021 is what the release date is. But the first book is called Layer of the Dark Master, and then the second book is called Curse of the Cat Eye Jewel. So naturally, we don't know a whole lot just based off of these titles, but the series is actually called Spinjitzu Brothers, and it naturally follows Wu and Garmadon. Now, the actual designs of these two are pretty much in line with what we expected. These kind of look like designs in between, I suppose, the young age Wu and Garmadon and then the teenage Wu and Garmadon. Somewhere in between there, uh, we can kind of be expecting these designs to pop up, unless these are supposed to be redesigns of the teenage Wu and Garmadon, which I could definitely see as well. So just in general, I'm kind of excited for this prequel series. I'm not sure if they're going to be just these two books or if there are going to be more, but nevertheless, the fact that we're getting, I guess, a prequel series in general just goes to show that Ninjago is kind of dedicated into building up the lore even more, which I imagine that these books will do. These books are confirmed to be canon to the actual series at hand, so I guess we'll see what these books have to offer, but in the meantime, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. I'm just really excited that we are getting a prequel series for Ninjago just in general. I feel like that's a really good idea, and I feel like these two books are going to be sort of a catalyst for more prequel series to be coming out after. So be sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below talking about what you guys think about this. Are you excited for this Ninjago prequel of sorts, and do you think that these two books will, I guess, take that place of a prequel that fans have been wanting for so many years? Leave all your thoughts down below, and I look forward to reading what you guys come up with. With all that being said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for other forms of social media. As always, big shout-out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including, once again, the Marvelous Jan. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.